Hey y'all, it's Krista. So today I am at a sad moment where I departed with my Midnight with Leftovers and I said, you know what? I'm going to see if I can recreate that. So that's what I'm going to do today. I mixed up 11 new colors and I'm going to try it on a 24 by 24 this time instead of doing it on a museum profile canvas, I am going to do it on an Artist Loft 24 by 24 gallery wrapped. But I have awesome news for you. These are now for sale. Mixed sticks are on our website now. And you go to www.carpata.art and they are there. Um, I love them. And I know that there's other artists out there that are loving them as well. Um, we sent them out as samples to see if they liked them. And I love the bright, bold colors. They're not like the other kind of colors. So um, I'm gonna have my husband get us down to the canvas and we're gonna see what we can do. I'm trying to recreate. I've got a list and I'm gonna to try to do it exactly the same. All right, let's 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 do this. Okay, so my 24 by 24 um, Artist Loft gallery wrap canvas. I like to save those so I can use them as corners or swipers or whatever, so I save them underneath my table. Um, here's my list. You know, everybody has to have a list to um, Try to recreate something. Um, I think that this attempt though I'm going to try to do less white so I only have a little cup of white this time but I'm gonna go through the colors um, because I have them all sitting here because I just made them up today. Uh, let's see I've got the Parage Posse's. I've got the Fresh Iridescent or the Fresh Powder Blue Iridescent Pearl, the Sleeping Beauty Turquoise Shimmer, and I also have Beach Retreat Shimmer and Carolina Blue Shimmer. These are awesome paints. So um, they mix really well with mix, and um, I will put the link up to Christina's uh, website to go and purchase them. I am using DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics in 24K and Sterling Silver. They're my cell makers. And I am using Permanent Blue Violet, Bronze, and Copper from Amsterdam. Put those up there. My Modern Masters in the Venetian Blue. This is a game-changing color. This is awesome. I love it, love it, love it. Um, when I was at Michael's, I said, I'm buying three of these, and you best believe I bought all three that they had because I love this color. It's awesome. And my little cup of white is my Amsterdam Titanium White. So, all right, I've got my big cup again, and the reason why is because I'm doing a 24 by 24. Last time I did a 20 by 20, and it had the big museum profile sides. This one is just a bigger canvas, so I'm gonna use my big cup. So I've got my list, and I'm going to start this on my spout side with a little bit of white. I think I'm gonna add a little bit less than I added last time because the white kind of, I had to tilt it over. And then I go in with the silver. Now the difference between um, bronzes this time is I'm using the um, Amsterdam instead of the deco art. Um, Next, I'm going to use Sleeping Beauty, 
the Paraj Posse. I'm going to put that on. And then I'm going to do the Carolina Blue. I hope you all can't hear my house shaking of my husband and my dog playing upstairs. <laughs> They're crazy. And then I'm going to use copper. Um, ah, I'm running out of space to put all these cups. And then I'm going to use the blue violet. And fresh powder blue. I mixed all these colors up about six hours ago so they don't have all the bubbles they had time to settle. And then I'm going to use my 24K. Now my 24K is always a little bit thicker than the rest of the colors so that it sinks instead of float around and create this weird sheen. And then I have to use the white. The white blocks it in so it doesn't create that sheen. Not a lot, just a little. And then I'm going to use the bronze. Oh Lord, here she comes. Here comes my dog. Then I'm going to use the white again to block that in. Not a lot, just a little. And then I'm going to use beach retreat. I'm going to put a bigger coat of that in. And then I'm going to use Venetian blue. Just like last time. And I'm going to use a little more of that. Just like last time, I'm saving some for it to be my base and my flow extender. And then I'm going to go to silver. And then blue violet. Don't get me wrong, when I shipped this painting out, it went to someone who was giving it a very, very good home. Um, she is a very dear friend of mine, Stacy and Ken. They got it for each other for their anniversary, and I love it. I love it. I was at their wedding, and it was a beautiful, beautiful wedding, and I just love them dearly. So I'm so happy that that painting is going to them. Then that was the 24K. Then I have to put white to block that in, block it in. Not a lot, just a little. And then I'm going to use bronze. And then I'm going to use, now I, because I'm putting it in smaller layers, I'm doing it a little bit different than last time. I'm going to go backwards and repeat that last thing from the beach retreat on. And I'm going to add some Venetian blue. Not a ton, just a little bit. And the silver. Trying to, I only made a little bit of each color. And the blue violet. So that I can actually try to use up my paints again. So this one isn't going to be exactly the same, but I'm hoping it's pretty close. Okay, that's a cup empty. Look! Leftovers, but they're not leftovers because I literally just made them. <laughs> um, Sleeping Beauty. Put that on top of that. And put that 
that cup up here and then I just dump my other cup. I'm out of control over here. And then some 24K. And white. Just to lock it in. And then I'll do the bronze. Or do I do copper this time? Ah, I was in the same conundrum last time. I think I'll use the copper instead. All right, super full cup. I'm gonna set these aside. Because I don't have much left because I just made small colors or small amounts of colors this time. Because I knew that I was going to. You know what? I only used Carolina Blue once. I'm going to put that right on the top. Because why not? You got to use it, right? I may use it as a flow extender. All right, my paper's gone. I'm going to set this aside. I think my cup is fuller this time than it was last time. And I am going to pour my puddle. And set that aside because I'm gonna thin it down. And then we're gonna go for it. All right, let's do this. Okay, so I've squeezed my cup and I'm twisting. And I'm going to pull it back, stop the flow. And I'm going to catch it. And I didn't catch it as well as I did last time. So I'm going to have to take my little stick and fix it. But ah, I'm getting cells. I love that. I love that I'm getting cells. All right, we're going to swirl this up a little bit. Swirl this in. Okay. Put my little stick away. It's a little different, but I'm getting better cell action this time. I don't, I don't, and there's less blue purple, so I poured my layers different, but that's okay. Because I know what the end result is going to kind of look like. Hopefully. So I've thinned down my Venetian blue, mixing that up. And let me get a paper towel out here so I've got something to put my sticks on. Okay. We're going to pour that around. and cups that's my game right and I saved my cup because remember last time I had to fix it um, what do I have a bunch of you know what I have a bunch of this left over so this is the beach retreat I'm going to thin this down so maybe the uh, Outsides, oh, the cells. Ah, it's gorgeous already. And I haven't even torched it. Okay. Put that stick down. I'm gonna go up here with that. You know, what's funny is that I took notes on what, what 
I used in what corner, but I'm not following the rules. I don't know how to follow rules. Um, okay, I've got some of this fresh powder blue. Thin that down. Just a little bit. I'll use it up in that corner. I purposely didn't make a whole bunch of colors or a whole bunch of paint of each color because I knew that I was only using leftovers last time. So Okay. That one's done. What else do I have over here? I got some bronze. Let's finish that up for another corner. And see me using my mix sticks? They're awesome. They clean up so super nice. I love them. I'm so happy that we are able to get them out to y'all now. Okay. Put that there. And still have this side to do. I think I'll use the copper. Oh my lord, the cells! So ridiculous. I haven't even torched this yet. Can you imagine what's going to happen when I actually do? Oh! Okay. I'm going to put the bronze. Oh, I'm sorry, this is the copper. This was the bronze. Can tell because of the sheen. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the popsicle stick. No, yeah, I'll take the popsicle stick and I'm gonna spread it out to the sides. We are supposed to get a snowstorm tonight. So wake up to a winter wonderland. But that's okay. Nothing can be as bad as it was because it was very snowy a couple weeks ago. Okay. Almost got this all spread out. Now Stacy and Ken are going to be like, we want the sister. Maybe. <laughs> and if they do, it can be theirs. If they're the first one to claim it. Okay. So, ah, it looks like a galaxy. I love this. It's gorgeous. I'm going to torch it. There's like a thousand awesome things going on in here. Okay, where to go first? Loving right here, and I'm uh, oh, it this this looks like ah, it's so gorgeous in here. Okay, we're gonna go down towards y'all first. And then I'm gonna stop it and bring it back. Because I do not want to lose those cells. They are super cool. Alright, the weight of my paint. Is down there, so I'm gonna take it out this corner next. Oh, 
and I'm going to stop it. I didn't hit the corner. Okay, and then bring it back. Then I'm going to spin it. This 24 by 24 canvas is huge. Okay. And then I'm going to take it under this corner. These cells, y'all, they're super cool. Okay, I just want that blue to go over, and then I'm going to stop. And then I'm going to bring it back. Then I'm going to go down to this corner. It's not the same as my first one, but it's definitely galactic. Okay, made that blue go over, and I'm going to bring it back. Okay, I'm not a fan of this corner up here, so I am going to try to tilt it this way, open up these bands that I got without losing the awesome cells. And did I do it? Do I do it? Yep. All right. And then I'm going to bring it back. Okay. Oh, I'm afraid to touch this. There's so much going on in here. And I love the placement of my center. So I am going to just kind of pull it down a little bit. And I'm going to stop. I'm gonna totally stop. So I'm gonna tend my corners. Put my hand back over my table before I drip on the floor. Have my husband have a coronary again. What's going on right here? Okay. And, okay. I need to take my gloves off before I mess things up. And get my little stick so I can go around and catch my edges. This image is actually good. Let me just do a little bit of that. And y'all, this is pretty close. Transparency level is definitely there. Remove this so I can scrape this edge. Oh my gosh, I have to bring you down. Okay, let's take a look. It's so close. Okay. Y'all look at this. Using the exact same colors as I used before. Look at these cells. Unbelievable. Same transparency, different composition, obviously, but wow. 
Look at this corner. Ah! Look at that corner. It's awesome. There's just random cells just popping up everywhere. Go over here. Look at the look at the striations right here. Super cool. Here's this upper corner. Look at these cells. Look at these cells right here. <gasps> so cool. And then look at the center. Look at the lacing in there. It's insane. It's insane. Y'all, I equally love this painting as much as I did the original. Look at right there. Wow. All right, y'all. This painting is super cool. All right. Hope y'all are having a happy holidays, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.